All right, everybody. I am here at a ride now in Concord at the Indian Demo Day on a 2020 Springfield Dark Horse with the 116 in it. Y'all don't know the specs, so I'm not going to go over. It's always just been me and my husband riding. So <laughs> Hello. I would. That is my wife. Right. Right. Thank you. Hey, babe. Hey. Uh, they're going to let me ride in the back. Okay. Because I've never ridden in a group before. Okay. So. I was in the middle of my intro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Try it again. Nah. I shut the hell up. What are we doing, babe? We are about to do a nice and go in Concord. Yep, at the Indian Demo Day. My wife is going to take a scout out with the fairing, and I'm on this Springfield 116. This should be fun. This is our first ever demo day. This is my first time on a bike like this. Well, I rode the Chieftain last oh, over the summer, but... Um, and then I'm hoping to get on that Challenger next after this. You still picking up Marty okay? Yeah. Oh, that food smells good. Huh? But, oh, that food smells good. Yeah. All right, getting shifted on this thing is good. It's it's a, dip, it's a lot different, man. There's a lot of room, so I'm not used to where the shifter is. So things are a little choppy, mm -hmm. but it tur it dipped into that turn pretty easily, so that was good. So far, I like the Chieftain better. Why? Um, I think it was a better ride. Yeah. This seat on this Springfield is incredibly comfortable. This isn't a very. I love the handlebars too. Really? Maybe as far as the bike is concerned, it's just me getting used to it, you know, kind of getting comfortable. Yeah. So, well, this Springfield does, it's pretty nimble. Whee! <laughs> You're such a dork, I love it. Alright, so far? Very nice. I'm a little bit choppy. This is not a reflection of the bike. It's my inexperience on a bike, on this particular bike. <laughs> or a bike this big for that metal. I keep missing the gear shifter, but that's, like I said, that's me. Because of the amount of room I have on here. Uh. Ugh, excuse me. But, so far, I enjoy this bike very much so. I'm um, in second gear, 30 miles per hour, brakes very well, en engine braking solid, and it really doesn't feel heavy at all. Like it? Yeah. Yeah, the bike doesn't feel very heavy at all. I mean, it really doesn't. I can flat foot it just right. You see that I'm five foot eight, 30 inch inseam. Um, oh, about the handlebar position, I like it so far, but it's not, you know, I mean, we haven't been riding very long. So, you know, after a longer period of time, you'll be able to tell if the handlebar position is right for you. But so far, I have no complaints. Get ready. I'm on it. The clutch is um, engages pretty close. It's not a real, it's not real far out, so, so that's a good thing. Man, the sheet does dip into the corners, though, pretty good. Good. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, <laughs> that woke up, she woke up a little bit on that. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. That I enjoyed. That I did, that, that was good. You can tell this thing's got potential. It's got power, this bike has got a power. I'm trying to see if I can be uh, real smooth like and just kind of lay back a little bit. I'm going to give it a rip here. Whew. <laughs> 60 miles an hour in third gear. No problems. 
Man, she sounds good. Yeah, mine does too. Yeah, you got that that that's got the um Indian upgraded exhaust on it. Which isn't bad for an uh for a um uh coming straight from OEM, you know? Most of the time in order to get a sound like that you gotta go after market. But yeah. they did a good job designing that exhaust. Yeah. Too bad they want too much money for it. <laughs> All in all, this bike is, I'm very pleased with this motorcycle that I'm riding. I'm glad I got to take this out today. This is one of the bikes I wanted to knock off because I already rode a Chieftain. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you don't pay Get attention it. to what's in front of you, boy. I am. Not you, the one in front of me. I'd like to be able to get this thing opened up a little bit more, but... Well, he said the fastest we're going is forty-five fifty. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you know, on a bike like this, whew, man, it just pops you back into the seat. I'm glad it's got a backrest for that pump. <laughs> it does. This one sixteen is legit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I take it back. This bike is much more better than the Chieftain I rode with the one eleven in it. Why? Uh, just the power delivery. But I'm in standard. I'm not in a uh, sport mode. I'm in standard mode because I don't have the uh, Godinadio fortitude to ride it in sport <laughs> as of yet. So sport mode, it, uh, standard it is. I get back in one piece, and so does uh, so does the Springfield. She is a beauty. I like the the cowl. The cowl's got this like sight on it, man. It's almost like a sight on a you know a barrel of a gun. You could just like aim it at your target and just get at it. But I think I'm going to try to do something here real quick. There we go. That was a little buzzing and fit. I uh, was at 50 miles per hour in second gear. Got some vibration. But that's okay. Other than that, this bike is pretty smooth. And I don't have the vibration in the floorboards. Oof, I didn't like the first gear. I don't have the vibration in the floorboards that the Chieftain did. Get done first. Uh -huh. Oh, that's neutral. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Very nice. Easy to just dump into the turn. Very nice. Very graceful. Look at that. Just the man. The gear shifting on this big bike is so effortless. You take a bigger bike. It, it would take a little bit more. Yeah. It, to get it. Yeah. It, out of gear. Yeah. It would be a bit more difficult. But man, it's so smooth and it's so easy. But but well, you can cruise around on this bike. Third gear, perfectly nice and nice and nimble it's very very tame in third gear it doesn't chug I like it I guess we're going right yep okay go right it doesn't like second gear isn't bad but I prefer to cruise around in third I love that thump that you get when you're Oh, very smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you getting my audio okay? Yeah, I'm getting it great. Okay, awesome. That annoying feedback went away, so that's good. I'm yeah. happy. I'm very yeah. happy with that. That dude in the Challenger is smart, man. He's just chilling back there by himself, man. All He's like way behind me. Either that or, but he's scared because he doesn't think I know how to ride. <laughs> <laughs> he has not gotten close to me at all. <laughs> but that's all right, man. Uh, 
Maybe he's playing with it. Nah, I think he's just saying, you know what, this douchebag up here don't know what the hell he's doing. Hmm. I'm a lot less nervous. Good. Than I was when I took the chieftain out. When I took the chieftain out, man, half of that ride I was too. Uh, Butt hole puckering too much to enjoy the ride. Oh yeah. Oh my God, the seat. My Lord. You know, I'm glad you brought up the wind buffeting. I mean, granted, we're not at high speed, but going at 50, I was not. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of wind that hits you. At least I don't feel it anyway. Right. Yeah, on, I feel all of it on this bike. This is pretty. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with this motorcycle. I said that if I was. A, when I got another one, if I did, it would be this one. And I think I reaffirmed that today. I'm happy for you. Unless the uh, unless Indian comes out with a liquid cooled version of this bike without the fairing like they do on the on the um, Challenger, you know. Yeah. They come out with a Challenger without a fairing, then she could shut up and take my money. I would prefer liquid cooled as opposed to air cooled. I tell you what, this thing at low speed is really nice. Mine's alright. Really nice. I'm in third gear, I'm doing 30 miles per hour. Now she is more than willing to get into the corners, I'll tell you that. We're getting close to the end, so I'm gonna yeah, wrap up the so I'm gonna wrap up what I call a review. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, here's a thumbs up, give it a like say I liked it oh it sucked but it didn't suck because <laughs> my reviews are badass I gotta bust your balls anyway but I'm sorry if you were looking for a very technical review you're not gonna get it here this is about the visceral feeling of riding a particular bike and this thing's a beaut absolute beaut so if you're looking for a uh, a bagger look no further well, test ride as many, as many as you can, obviously, but definitely keep this Springfield in consideration, the 116 in it. I love the way it sounds. <laughs> but, all right, my peoples, on to the next review. This is your boy. And his wife! Reminding you to ride safe, keep it shining side up. I'm out.